Hey everybody, Chris Steele here at Steel Frags, and tonight we are going to review Al Nashama from the House of Latafa. So this is Al Nashama, not to be confused with Al Nashama Caprice, which I did an, a review on um, probably a month ago or so. I've been gone. Um, I have not been feeling like doing these videos. I've been a little burnt out, a little bored. Um, just my mind's been other places other than fragrances. And I've just been a real lazy little bum for the past couple weeks or so. But I'm back to help you make the world a better smelling place. So help me help you make the world a better smelling place. Like, comment, subscribe, show some love to the channel so that I can continue to show love what you got to you guys with these fragrances. Anyway, let's get right into it. So this is the bottle. As you see in this is the box. I know not too many people are not um, all that stoked from the box. It's a fucking box at the end of the day. What we care about is this and what it smells like. So let's jump right in. Al uh, In the top, you're going to have bergamot, sage, and pink pepper. In the middle, you have plum, black pepper, and jasmine. And in the base, there's amber, saffiano leather, patchouli, and moss. Now, I did get these notes off of Fragrantica. I do believe that Latafa has their own set of notes. And... Um, I, I have worn this before. This is not completely new. I have tested this. So I'm going to give you guys my take based off the notes that I have right here in front of me. Now, again, Latafa has their own set of notes. So if I'm wrong, just correct me politely in the comments section. You don't have to, you know, chase me off the internet. You don't have to send, you know, dirty emails to me and Call me all kind of names, all right? So let's get right into it. I'm going to tell you right now, though, this is one of the ones. It is very, very nice fragrance. I don't review bad fragrances, if you didn't know. That's my secret. I, I never review a bad fragrance. If I know it's a bad fragrance, I'm probably not going to review it. Okay, so in that top, you definitely, I can see with it where people get the pink pepper. It's spicy slightly pink pepper juicy bergamot fresh bergamot this is the bottle as you can see fresh bergamot oh okay and then it gets really good so it opens with pepper and and almost a citrus like a bergamot i don't smell sage uh but what comes in and really makes this fragrance its own is when the jasmine and the palms start making love to each other. It is just, it is, it is so, so lovely. It's this rich, sweet, but not sickingly sweet, slightly floral, slightly fruity. And yes, this is a unisex fragrance kind of smell, but let's get down into the base. So in the base, you have amber, saffiano, leather, patchouli, and moss. So, right. So, as it starts to dry down, I notice that you get more amber, but what I find that is prevalent in this fragrance that is at the forefront is that bergamot in the opening with the pink pepper, plum, jasmine, amber, and patchouli. That's what I'm really smelling. There's slight patchouli, like a certain woody earthiness as it, as it dries down, but it doesn't dry down so much to where uh, the woody earthiness makes this into a different kind of fragrance. This is very much a unisex for sweet, pleasant, sexy, sophisticated kind of fragrance. This is not the most masculine fragrance, but you guys know how I feel about that. Um, I don't feel that everything has to be devastatingly masculine in order for it to smell good or to get you compliments you know it all really depends on your personality to how you carry yourself so anyway let's get into it right so i've had this fragrance for a little while uh haven't reviewed it 
haven't reviewed much of anything lately, but that will change. Um, and what I can tell you is that this thing is the truth. It, it performs. While it is not the most beastly of all beastly fragrances, this is easily going to get you through the day. I'm talking about seven to nine hours of longevity um, with a very nice sillage, very nice scent bubble, about a three foot scent bubble that lasts for a good three hours, actually. I would say so. Yes, uh, three hours. I'm, and if I'm wrong, you know what? Unsubscribe, flag this video, call your alderman, call Donald Trump, tell him what's going on. So, you know, so something can be done about it because this that's serious. No, but in all seriousness, um, great performance. Uh, um, Siage longevity, it's all there. It's all there. There's not really much to talk about. Um, now, when you get into the seasons and who this is for, then it can it, it gets interesting. Okay, so seasonally, this is probably better suited for fall and spring because the pepper and the plum in this a mix with that patchouli. I could see getting very cloying in high heat. Um, this possibly actually could, you could wear this for uh, through winter as well because it has that patchouli in there and that, that sweet plum that I'll cut through the cold. Yeah, it has an amazing sillage. Like I can just go like this and kind of smell it all over. Um, but yeah, those, those kinds of seasons, transitional seasons, fall, spring, and even winter, just maybe not the coldest days because, you know, we got we got something for that. Um, and who is this for? I would say that this is for somebody who is playful, adventurous, sophisticated, has a good sense of humor, um, has a bit of a, a of a of a nice kind of a the way they carry themselves, they have a bit of a um, fashion sense. They're not a, they're not an old fogey. They're not somebody who's just stuck in their ways, you know, somebody who's open-minded and it is very much unisex fragrance. Like most of the fragrances that I really like are unisex fragrances. Um, so if you're not into like sweet or floral fragrances, this might not be for you. There's nothing wrong with that, man. I love you all the same. What I what I eat don't make you shit. What you eat don't make me shit. So don't worry about it, man. It's water under the bridge. You can wear whatever you want. You can go to the local gas pump, get you some get you some unleaded, like a big gallon of unleaded, you know, and just slather it all over you. And guess what? It's not gonna affect me. It's not gonna affect your neighbor. Well, maybe if you smoke a cigarette, light a match, it'll I don't know what the hell we're talking about. Anyway, I'm basically saying that wear what you want to wear and don't give a damn about what other people have to say or think about it, as long as it's not at your job because then you might get fired or written up. So always remember that. In fact, I want that on my uh, gravestone when I pass away. Anyway, that's enough of my shenanigans. This has been Latafa al Shama showing love on the Chris Steele Fragrance Channel. And like I said, help me help you make the world a better smelling place. And the way we do that is by liking, commenting, subscribing, interacting, and sharing our experiences on these lovely fragrances. Anyway, you guys have a blessed night. I look forward to seeing you guys in another video. And as always, as you know, peace until the next one.